Can a $140 quad really perform like a $300 plus quad? Well, stay tuned, let's check it out. Alright guys, so how did this do? This did absolutely phenomenal. Um, I did have high hopes for it and um, it didn't disappoint, I can tell you that right there. Uh, we did use the best budget parts we could totally find on the market. And um, to be honest, if this was my only quad, um, this thing performs in a lot more than it performs. Um, you could even make it perform even better with choosing some kind of lighter frame. And um, that's really it. That's all you have to do. No noise. Everything flew perfect. Everything worked perfect. Um, this beats pre-made quads out there. For example, the first diatone is still selling for around 200 bucks. This will smoke that. This is not only will smoke that. This is more reliable than that. And I've, I've tested that one and I know what's happened with that one. Um, so, you know. This is just insane. Um, it does beat the B fight, that's for sure, hands down. And um, yeah, and what else? You get, you get a nice, beautiful uh, building learning process, and uh, what more do you want? I mean, uh, you know, you're gonna have to try this for yourself. I mean, look how clean that is. It's basically just empty. There's nothing in there, and everything is working absolutely phenomenal. Um, <clears throat> now, performance wise, it was spectacular however there's something you guys need to take note of while I was building this I recommended the 2400 kV racer star motors because those I have tried and this was supposed to be my 20, uh, 2700 kV test here um, they're very good motors but the 2400s are uh, more powerful that's for sure um, anyone you know who's not been flying for a while won't be able to notice the difference but I totally notice the difference because I've used both of them um, and I, I really know how those feel the 2400 kV version so these are still absolutely phenomenal I'm just saying from experience and my recommendation go with the 2400 kV um, they're just spectacular um, and these are also good as well very good but um, my recommendation would be the 2400 kV and I have the 2400 KV linked down below. So overall, um, I would give this like a 9 out of 10. Um, it would have gotten a 10 out of 10 for its price point. Don't forget, it's, it's hella cheap. It's like $139, um, which is just insane. So this, this will perform like any other more expensive quad. For example, I'll show you an example right now. Here is the ESC testing quad where I burnt a motor on. But I'll, I'll show you guys how I burnt it. It was my own stupid mistake. This quad right here costs a trillion, I think, um, and this one performs better than it with the GoPro and everything. So, you know, just in the consideration, this one costs a lot more. Uh, this had the DYS Aria, it has the Emacs 2205S motors, uh, it has the same VTX, it has the Runcam Eagle 2 Pro, and um, yeah, and the Skyzone F4 flight controller. This just performs better um, and it's a top mount battery and you have more space so I mean you know that says something right there um, I'm telling you these motors do perform even better than some hundred dollar motors so this whole setup here is just absolutely one of the best setups you could possibly purchase um, the, or the, should I say the cheapest setups you could possibly purchase to date right now and like I said I would recommend going with the 2400 kV uh, motors instead of 2700 kV uh, just because those have more power these have more high end but these are built for made for lighter setups than this this is a pretty it's not a super heavy quad this one huh this one's like it's pretty heavy but it's not a light one either it's around 350 grams dry weight so yeah um, but overall you can't go wrong with this even as a backup quad I'm telling you if this was the only quad I had um, I would be absolutely happy 1000 trillion percent happy it could do everything I want it to do and more plus here's another another awesome thing it's super light on your battery it has the power it's pretty strong the parts are absolutely ridiculously cheap um, 
you cannot go wrong even with just having it as a backup quad. That's how good this one is. And um, yeah, so someone's gonna win this guy. And um, I tell you, you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. And I hope the guy that wins it will probably make us a couple videos and show us his flying before he wrecks it. And uh, just to tell you, his, share his thoughts with us. And uh, that'll be pretty fun, pretty interesting. And I, I really do like this trend. I wanna keep doing this, that every once in a while, maybe once a month or twice a month, I make a build and we just give it away. We test it and then go ahead and give it away. Um, you guys deserve a lot more than I can give. And um, this is what I'm trying to do. And I have way too many things. I, I, I can't keep everything here. And um, if it wasn't for you guys and your support using my affiliates links, I wouldn't be able to do all this. And um, I really am very thankful and I don't know how to thank you enough. And I think this is one big first step for me to start thanking you in a way. All right, so, well, it was a beautiful quad. So I'm gonna leave you guys with FPV footage and I uh, will see you next time. See you guys, take care.